Good morning guys! Right, that was a high pitch one today. That was a very high pitch good morning. Hey Fruit Bats, welcome to another episode. So while I've been making these Zoella Alfie videos, I've noticed that Alfie definitely has an interest in veganism but he has a lot of pressure around him not to go in that direction. So today I just want to help him make the connection more, give him a bit of a push in the vegan direction. Unfortunately, Zoella is pushing back, but we'll see how we go. And this is my lunch. I've cut the burger in half. It is a gourmet burger kitchen, which is GBK, chicken satay burger with skinny fries. Super skinny little chips and they're absolutely delicious. So in this vlog, Alfie gets a chicken burger and you can tell he's not thinking at all about the animal at this point. But what I found interesting was the footage later on that day. Check this out. Having cuddles with mummy, look at your big old chesty chest. Look at She does that with her hands. That's what I do with mine when I sleep. Oh no, look at her little hands folding over. This bit's so soft on her leg. Yeah, her like leg's it. here. So soft. Although it's kind of... It kind of puts me off eating chicken legs. Sounds a bit weird, but if you feel her leg here, that there just feels exactly like a chicken leg, like what I would eat. Alfie, that does not sound weird at all. That makes complete sense. You're 100% spot on. How is eating a dog's leg any different from a chicken's leg? It's just coming from a different animal. So whenever I have a chicken leg now, I see one, I'm like, oh. It's Nala's little leg. But it isn't Nala's little leg. But it isn't Nala's little leg. I know. <laughs> Nala's got her legs. You're right, Zoe. Nala is lucky enough to keep her legs, but billions of chickens around the world every year are not that lucky. They have their legs ripped off to feed greedy and uneducated humans. For instance, since you opened this video two minutes ago, over 165,000 chickens were slaughtered for no damn good reason. Not only is eating chicken cruel and unethical, it's also one of the most unhealthiest things you can eat. Just go to Dr. Gregor's YouTube channel and type in chicken into the search bar and you will come up with a whole lot of filthy truth about chickens. Salmonella in chicken, arsenic laced chicken, illegal drugs found in chicken, more arsenic, obesity causing chicken virus, more salmonella outbreaks, bladder infections, phosphate additives, breast cancer in chicken, superbugs found in chicken, feminization of male genitalia, watch out Alfie. Good morning guys, right, that was a high pitch one today. Chicken and inflammation, UTI, salmonella outbreaks, fecal residue in chicken, dioxin, virus, antibiotics, carcinogens, it just goes on and on. But eating a vegan diet is too extreme. It has begun, guys. Our vegan meal has begun. This is pumpkin soup with some like sunflower seeds and stuff. Black coffee. Oh, cheers, yeah? Yo, bro. Cheers, bro. Oi. Wait, yes, Instagram. Guys, look how Instagrammable our food is. One thing I found really cool is when Alfie was hanging out with Louis for the day, he actually went vegan and he supported his friend and he tried it out and he seemed to be really enjoying it. And I thought that was awesome. You know, at least he gave it a go and he watched Cowspiracy, where on the other hand, Zoe apparently didn't watch Cowspiracy and she just ate like her meat and cheese pizza in front of the guys while they're eating vegan. Which I naturally found really close-minded and disappointing. They've got a bunch of high stuff protein, high in iron, high in magnesium, I believe. Just like 10 different things that are really good for you. If one compares chicken to veggie chicken, we can see that the same amount of chicken has about twice the calories, four times the fat, infinitely more saturated fat and cholesterol, pretty much the same sodium and protein, only about a third of the iron and no fiber. But what chicken lacks in fiber, it makes up for in mutagenic toxins and arsenic. So Alfie seems like a nice guy, and I feel like he wants to live more ethically even if it's not, he's not conscious of that, his actions are showing that. And if we can give him a little bit of a push in the right direction, that always helps. And to show him that chicken is not healthy at all, it's cruel, it's unethical, and it should not be eaten. So one thing I noticed is Alfie is always complaining about health issues and how he wants to get healthy. Well, Alfie, this is the lifestyle for you. The high-carb vegan lifestyle is definitely going to help you with your health problems. And I believe he talks about congestion a lot and sinus. This is a lifestyle to clear that up. 
Okay, Fruit Bats, so that's my video for today. If you want Alfie to go vegan, if you want to even see this video, make sure you give us a thumbs up and I will see you soon. Don't forget to go fruit or root yourself. Hey guys, day one of trying out being a vegan has gone very successfully.